The church has been insane. It, absolutely insane. I don't even have to say it. We've seen 15,000 TikToks at this point about everything that's going ha happening in the church. What I'm here to say is guard your heart from hopelessness. Because what can happen when you see carnality being sanctified, when you see pulpits made common instead of sacred, when you see false prophets among God's people uh, functioning in the spirit of divination in, instead of the spirit of God, saying true things but living bad lives, when you see the Bible being mishandled and abused for selfish ambition and gain, like like when you see prosperity teaching being being packaged as your purpose and da 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 da, independent of what God and His Word has said, like when you see that type of stuff, it's discouraging. It, you start to you start to wonder if righteousness is real. If, if holiness is possible, if faithfulness is even a thing anymore. And so you start to doubt subtly in very small ways, God and his word. And that's when the enemy sneaks in. And that's when he starts to get access to you, where you start to move in the same way they do, because you laid aside your hope. You get what I'm saying? Like, so guard your heart from that, like, because either the grave is empty or it isn't like, like the Bible warned us about this stuff. It, it, they, they said it will always be weed among tares, it, that, that there will be false teachers among us, that there, will, that there will be wolves in sheep's clothing, that there will be people who have a form of godliness, but deny its power. They told us that, but you know what they also told us? You know what Paul told Timothy? He said, but as for you, preach the word. You know what Jude told the people he was writing to? He, he said, but you beloved, you make sure that you abide in God's love. Like, like the epistles also told us what to do in the midst of the foolishness, right? Which is keep your eyes on Jesus, for he is the founder and perfecter of your faith. In Philippians, he says the work that he started in the real church, he will finish. At the end of Jude, he says to him who was able to keep us from stumbling and to present us faultless and blameless before his glorious presence with great joy, God is supreme. Jesus is king and he is Lord. And trust me, he will not be mocked. He will not be mocked. You can use his name and do whatever you want to do. And in the meantime, you could be a functional atheist over here making up. You could, you could do that if you want, but he won't be mocked. But in the meantime, church, if you love Jesus, keep looking at Jesus more than you even look at what's happening in the church. Don't let it distract you from what he's called you to do in the earth. Okay? All right.